Here's all my goodies. Of course, I already showed those off to you. I got this off of uh, Guitar Center Used. Uh, came somewhere from the southeast uh, with no power supply or cables. Um, I got this from Musical Round near me. Just a used volume or expression pedal that will go back into here. Uh, what I'm finding out with the guitar hobby, part of the fun is buying all the toys. The uh, thing I'm trying to do is not buy too many at a time. Uh, reward myself as I get better with a guitar. And so I kind of justified this to myself, even though I don't need it. All I really need is this guy, and that's nice to have. But this is what I need right now to for my rhythm. This is just candy for me right now, and hopefully I'll grow into it. Same thing with the uh, cheap pedal board here. This is just a knockoff, Chinese knockoff of some higher brand one, you know, and same thing with this, uh, uh, was it Le Lakato power supply? Uh, it's just all, you know, you can get it off Amazon or, or Timu with different different names, brand names attached to it, unless that a, a, soy, a Soyan. So here's the Lakato power supply. Um, I needed a power supply for, I need to buy one for this anyway, so I was going to spend, you know, 20, 10 to 20 bucks to get, get a decent one. Um, this had good reviews on Amazon, and here we are, 9 volts at 500 milliamps. So, bang, bang. All right, let's get this, uh. Let's get this put together. Here's the bottom of the pedal board. Um, the bottom comes off where the power supply goes in, right here. So what I did is just take the, uh, you get both sides of the uh, Velcro. And so I put the, uh, the soft side down and then I put the hooks, the hook side of the adhesive on the power supply. I didn't go all the way across. I kind of wanted to leave it open for since there's, this is going to get hot for, for cooling. And so just same concept, I guess, of how I've seen people build uh, pedal boards with, uh, with the pedals on top and the, and the strips going across it. So I think that'll be good. I'm not gigging, so it's not going anywhere other than the, uh, inside the cozy comfort of my office for right now. There I have access to what needs to be in there. And I set it back so that I I don't really need, I don't want the wires coming up through here, I want them coming up through this part and then I can, I can wire tie them down, or zip tie them down. All right, so here's how it looks on the back when it's powered on, so when you plug in the barrel, um, it turns the LED light on. Um, I'm gonna cover up the 12 and 18 volt because the barrels are the same size um, and I don't wanna burn out a pedal. So we're gonna put Here's the setup so far. Everything's Velcroed in place. And I, I still need to get the MIDI cable to finish up. And we'll come back and show that to you here a little bit later in a couple days when uh, that comes in. But essentially, uh, the good old guitar coming out, coming in to the Beat Buddy, and then up to my headphone. And then there's the uh, iPad I used for doing the lessons. And stuff. There we go, Practice Central. All right, now it's been about nine days since that first cut that you saw. I had to buy the Beat Buddy, the special cable for Beat Buddy. It goes in the MIDI port there. And these I thought went right in there, but they don't go right in there. They don't. These are, oh, what are, or I guess they're, they're female, and these are female. And so then I needed to order up stuff which is, would have been pretty easy I could have gone down to musical round and got what I wanted 
but what I wanted was a 90 degree, so I had to order these and wait for them to come in. And I had a little snowstorm in Colorado, so they're delayed. Um, so now I am able to hook this up and play with it. Like all good toys, you gotta play with them on the floor. All right, so here is the first connection I'm making. Now I'm putting this on because I'm putting the pedal on and I'm putting a barrel on so I'm able to uh, connect into um, my guitar. So here we go. I'm just gonna route it under here. Now my pedal board, my wiring isn't pretty, isn't gonna be pretty for a while until I get this thing all put together. The MIDI controller um, is the controller, so I need to go from the uh, from the out to the in on the beat buddy because this guy is going to be the new controller. And then I did buy the they, these came in six inches and. And 12, I just bought the 12, even though it makes more of a, a rat's nest under there, but um, just for flexibility. And I'm not a professional, so I'm just going to the out. All right, let's put the uh, Legos back together here. I'm just going to tuck that down for right now and I'll make it pretty sometime later. All right, and see, this is why I put this put this on here is because I, I need to, once I get this on, I don't wanna, um, when, I, when I plug my guitar in, I'm gonna put a barrel on the end of it here. Like that, and then the, the car, the guitar end will just plug in over here. Okay, this is the power supply. That's the correct amperage, nine volt. And again, I'll flip this over, make it look pretty later underneath wire tie, what has to be wire tied. Okay. This guy's for some, no, oh, this guy's for the beat buddy. Here's the uh, connector part to the guitar, um, just a Velcro the barrel, and I put two uh, wire ties around it to keep it on there. And it goes down and through and into here. I will change the, uh, the foot switch back over to the Beat Buddy because I like the pickup better that way. And then here's the expression pedal, which I haven't been able to make work yet. And then that's all still the same. And then there's the Beat Buddy with uh, the MIDI presets from um, from Singular. So um, right now the scroll up and scroll down button aren't working. So it should be able to exit in and out using your feet on these buttons. That's not a big deal. Um, So here's, it has these already set up. So of course my cowbell, which is really loud compared to these. Hi-hat, snare, kick, tambourine, clap. And so then here's start the beat, buddy. 
and then I can go to the next part. Previous part. I'm just hooked to my powered speaker right now. And then the outro. And then let's go tempo. We got double time, which isn't working on these. These aren't working, but these, this is so um, I can speed it up a click, a beat at a time. Back down. I was hoping to be able to use the pedal to do it. I have to read. Maybe I have to figure out how to set that up. Um, and then there's I can select the parts. So up to five parts. Um, this one only has two parts on it. I just changed it to two, back to one. These only go up to two because there's nothing else. We've had more parts on there. That would work. And then the stop, which is cool about this. I'm trying to double click to get the uh, the outro is a pain, but the for the use price of this. Um, a nice addition because I really, I really am getting better at my rhythm and my timing, uh, using this along with the drums in the back, you know, a metrodome, a metronome would work just fine, but this is cool, but it's, you know, used price here. It's $500 a kit more than I paid for my guitar probably. And you buy this new, it's, you know, even more than that. So, but what I'm finding about the gu guitar hobby is uh, it starts out real simple, but if you let it go, it gets uh, expensive pretty quick. Uh, until next time.